hmm. This is a very- OAK! Oh! <laughs> It's just the smoke, Matt! It's just the smoke! Hey guys, and welcome to GT Not Live, where today, uh, apparently the newest, hottest thing in creepy, toy-centric horrors coming to life to slaughter you is upon us. Uh, today we're playing Poppy's Playland? Poppy Playtime? What is it? Poppy's uh, Playland? An, is there an S? Uh, pop. I think it's Poppy's Playtime. Are you, are you sure? I. Yes. I know the screen says that it's not. I was going to say, <laughs> you are looking at the screen right now because you just pulled up the screen. Uh, it says Poppy Playtime. No. I but you're doubting no, the game's own title. You think the game is wrong about its own title. Wow, Matt is starting off strong today. Okay, yeah. not Puppy's Playtime. It's not Puppy Playtime no, or a... Puppy's Playtime. See, I do know that. That's a very different game. That's a delightful okay, yeah. game in which I'm sure little small dogs <laughs> are licking your face in a uh. joyful manner and not... Some horrific creature comes to life and slaughters uh, slaughters us repeatedly. So I did that thing that people from the South do, where it's like Belks and Macy's. Yeah. Uh -huh. And I added an S. Well, Macy's is a thing. Macy's. Oh, yeah. It's not Macy's. It's not just Macy's. Belk okay, is a... JC Penny's. Belks. Is JC Penny. So I, that's fair. Is JC Penny? I think, JC Penny? I think it's singular and we make it plural. Really? Yeah. Or like the Kroger's. Because I, I grew up in the Midwest in Ohio mm -hmm. and it was. JC Penney's. We called it JC Penney's. I don't know if it actually was. Okay. But I so maybe it's a universal thing. Okay. Or maybe they're just the names. Well, I know that like people from the south specifically will add S's. Really? It's a southern thing? I think so. Okay. Um so I did that, but okay. it's a sing it's one poppy. But it is poppy yeah. playtime. Mm -hmm. Okay. And we're not talking about the Illuminati controlled singer slash death metal artist at Correct. this point. Are you a fan of Poppy? I like Poppy. I love Poppy. <laughs> I I love I like I like Poppy when she was more Poppy rather than mm. kind of the newer iterations of her where she's a lot harder edged because okay. that's just not music that I naturally gravitate towards. Yeah. But when she was doing like like complete riffs on the pop genre, mm. that was, I was like, not only what, did I appreciate like the lore and the meta-ness around it and yeah. this and that, but the, the songs were just bops. Like I've, I thought they were legitimately good. I've got some pop artists I can show you that are Poppy adjacent. Great. Perfect. Mars Argo. I don't know that was that, that was the original Poppy. Okay. The whole backstory about like she was the original version and then got replaced oh. with actual Poppy. It's it's a weird okay. story, but Mars Argo is a little bit more not folksy, but she's a little bit more like less processed, which is again like is the box that Poppy fat. Do you know in. QT? I don't know QT. Okay. Okay, you're not gonna yeah. swap. <laughs> See, I, I know like we'll three. Talk later. I, know, I know like three relatively hip artists. So anyway. <laughs> So, Poppy Playtime, uh, a lot of you have been requesting this. A lot of you have been uh, sharing videos of other people playing this. So, this is, I guess, the big thing as we await, presumably, uh, Security Breaches launch. It, it looks cool, I guess. I don't know. I know nothing about it. I just see smokestacks in the background here. Uh, that cool castle looks like a lot of fun. Um, real quick, before we get started, a quick announcement. Uh, Halloween merch is still available. Uh, that's right below this video. It is a, you know, a collaboration with Chocovania, the artist. Um, I think the designs are really cool, uh, so it supports both of us, and that's incredible. So if you're interested in that, that's available. Uh, secondly, and, and more kind of for this video specifically, uh, if you are interested in going to our St. Jude charity live stream uh, on November 30th, a uh, huge event. There are, we're already, in terms of like total subscribers represented, uh, if you calculate the number of guests, uh, we're already over last year's count. And I mean, it's, it's a huge show. I, I looked at the list of people and I'm like, this is insane. Plus more that are going to be involved because I'm still reaching out to people and this and that. But so those announcements are happening. But if one of the things that we're doing differently this year is, there's going to be both a virtual audience and a live studio audience, both. Uh, not necessarily for the whole thing, but just for a particular segment or two. And if you are interested in being a part of that studio audience, which also allows you the chance to win some pretty cool prizes, um, either in person or virtually, 
uh, there's a link actually to a survey right below this video. We did this last year, uh, and that survey tells us a little bit about you. It allows us to kind of vet uh, possible uh, candidates and contestants and just get a sense of the volume of people. We have to keep it limited because of COVID, but because of, uh, and, and safety issues, and there's definitely some things that we'll ask about, like, are you vaccinated? Stuff like that uh, for the safety of all the guests. Um, but that in turn will help us make sure that we've got a cool show. And I, I gotta say, like, this is one of those things that is gonna be a really fun one to be a part of, to, to witness both in person or be a part of on screen. Uh, I also wanna call out that the community challenge where people are donating their time uh, and their money to be a part of this, that is a separate initiative. Uh, those are people who are gonna be uh, specifically featured on the stream. They're getting flown out, you know, from wherever, like they're getting hotel treatment. So that is like guaranteed access. Uh, you know, we're, we're treating you to a really nice experience there. You're going to get treated to a nice experience anywhere, but that's us actually like taking care of you in a lot of ways. This is just like, hey, I'm available on November 30th and I can show up uh, within the, the guidelines or, hey, I'm willing to dial in and appear on screen, you know, for to be part of the virtual audience. That's the difference here. So uh, I don't want anyone being like, but I've been raising money for St. Jude. It's a different type of experience. It is a different level of care and there's a different level of feature. Uh, that's happening on the live stream for you guys that kind of win those tickets out. So I just wanted to clarify that. But uh, if you are at all interested, that link is right below this video. Fill out that form. Uh, like I said, we can't accept anyone. We can't accept everyone. Uh, but we're going to use that as kind of the baseline to start kind of vetting people and making sure that like you fit the criteria that we kind of need, uh, both legally and professionally, to kind of like make this whole thing work. There's a lot of loopholes. It's like I said, it is a lot to plan the show. And especially still, you know, coming out of COVID, there's still a lot of cons extra considerations that we have to take into account. So thank you for your patience. I'm sorry that we can't accept everyone, but uh, if you are at all interested, please fill that out. So with all that being said, it's time to hop into Poppy Playtime. Anything I need to know about this going in, Matt? I think you should go in blind. Go in blind? Yeah. Okay, cool. Well, let's do it. Let's just let's just hop in. Uh, immediately, I like I said, I noticed the colorful smokestack, so it kind of feels a little post-apocalyptic y or like a twisted Disney World. That's exactly uh, what I was thinking. Twisted it Disney World. Like the Disney World Gate. Yeah, it, right? Disney World Gate. Even this music that's playing in the background, this kind of like lulling 1930s esque, mm -hmm. you know, like the sort of stuff that you would hear if you're opening into like what they play in the park before like the gates open and stuff. It's, you know, very nostalgic. So let's see. Oh, hello. <laughs> that was a very quick transition. Chapter one, a tight squeeze. I'm assuming this is our, our Freddy Fazbear stand-in. As an ex-employee of Playtime Co., you finally return to the factory many years after everybody within disappeared. Oh, but why? Why are we back? That is the question. It's graphically, that looks really impressive. He looks super cuddly. He looks like a Muppet. You know, that is interesting that no one... Vidris. You are about to see country are the most incredible doll ever invented. Oh, this is cool. Her name is Poppy, and she is the first truly Poppy. intelligent doll in the world. And she becomes a Poppy. A little girl can talk to her. Poppy gives her answers. She is the first doll actually able huh. to have a conversation with a child. Oh, there you go. Hard to believe? Just watch. All right. Vidress. French? Spanish? Poppy's as lovable as a real girl, and she talks like one, too. Hi, my name is Poppy. Oh, yeah, this is bad I news. love you. Getting severe. Can you help me polish my shoes? Why, of course, Polish Poppy. my shoe, heathen. Just like a real girl, Poppy always wants to look her best. Perfect. Thank you. Her hair is sturdy and won't come out when you brush oh, it. Oh, thank goodness it's sturdy. And smells just like a poppy flower. Is there anything else you'd like to say, Poppy? I'm a real girl. Huh. Just like you. Oh, no. What's the time? Playtime! And if you've ever wanted to see how all of the nation's favorite toys huh. were created, Playtime Co. is now offering factory tours. Terrifying. At just $2.99 a person. Nope. An entire hour in the most magical toy factory on Earth. 2 99 wow. What are you waiting for? Look at that. Come visit the factory. We can... Oh, this is great. Ooh, okay. I, some flashes. So, like, if we do a theory about this, obviously we got to go back through those flashes. It seemed like they were doing some sort of uh, one of those vacuum seals over a doll face. 
Uh, I don't know if that's meaningful in any way. To, like, mold fit it. So Poppy's clearly a real girl. Yeah. Yeah, like, very clearly. I'm a real girl. Like, okay. You are a, a soul trapped inside this doll. That's why she's able to talk. Uh, <laughs> the theory brain is going. Oh, I thought that was a screen that was going to stay on. Shoot. You blew it, man. There was stuff on screen. Oh, no. What was it? Did you notice? What was it important? Shoot. I was itching my eye. <laughs> Curse you itchy eyes! <laughs> Damn it! Uh, okay, so immediately the vid dress is weird. Uh, that makes me think that we're in some foreign country. I'm curious which one. Do you think it's video resolution? No. Okay. I don't think so. Really? You think so? I just don't know why it'd be in a foreign language. I don't really, right, when everyone's speaking English? I'm gonna look it I, up. Yeah, look it up, because to me, it could be video resolution. I, but like, as someone who grew up with VHS, did you grow up with VHS tapes at all? I did. Okay. Yeah. As someone who grew up with VHS tapes, like, I'd never, I would see video in the bottom, but not like video, that's odd. Um, let's see what we got here. So Poppy's a real girl, I'm getting some real strong circus baby vibes from her, and... Obviously, the one of the big questions in any sort of these games is, like, who are we? Of course, we don't have a reflection. But, like, why are we back? Who are we? Um, are we the creator? Are we Poppy herself, maybe? Uh, okay. So if you type vidres yeah, into Google vidres? Translate, uh, it's Catalan, meaning glasses. Span Not Spanish. Meaning glasses? Yes. Okay. Catalan is like a dialect. I think. Well, it's a dialect. It's, yeah. it's Spanish, though, isn't it? Well, it's like a different language. Is it really? Yeah. Like a like a it, it is a dialect that evolved so far. It's like like Welsh is is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, that makes yeah. sense. Yeah, it's like its own language, but like shares some similarities and okay. and developed in in a similar place, but uh -huh. it's, it's totally different. Cool. Okay. Tab to view items. Items. Tape. I would like to view that tape. Great security. So you're saying it's probably not another language then. You're saying that it might be video resolution. Ops. I think so. Yeah. I mean, it could be. I, I do not doubt it. It does feel weird uh, for them to all be speaking English and, and stuff, and then for it to be like, this is from a foreign country. Oh, uh, like brawn. Eat healthy like brawn. Playtime Co Cafeteria recommends a daily intake of 4,000 calories. Oh, <laughs> I don't know if I would trust Playtime Cafeteria's recommendation there. <laughs> oh wow that is i mean unless you are michael phelps uh I, I don't know if that's that's a daily recommended dose playtime cafeteria might recommend that but uh, i don't think the fda is gonna agree boogie bot cool fun what's this guy this is candy cat oh my gosh it's so cute it looks like he poops out candy oh he's got choking hazard great the scariest thing of all the choking hazard. Oh, age is three and up. Okay, so I can get Boogie Bot for Ollie one of these days. Huggy. <laughs> nice. Uh, catch register, anything around here? What do we got? Oh, that's a, a Rift Apart Boogie Bot. Some more candy cats. Oh my gosh, this is so cute. Huggy. Perfect for all ages. Where'd all the Huggies go? I could use a hug. Famous last words, I'm sure. Security camera. Anything to do in this room or no? Can I, well, no. Can I hop up maybe on someone on the train? Just odd that there's nothing really in here outside of just like, it's atmospheric. We can always come back. Oh, hey, here's a, uh, here we go. I have that tape. I'm the head of innovation here at the Playtime Co. Is that a person? If you're seeing this, then you're trespassing. <laughs> yeah, we play this little tape on loop whenever we close the factory for the day. So, trespasser, just to make you aware, while we pride ourselves primarily on our high-quality toys and excellent child care, we also pride ourselves on our security. <laughs> for example, this facility is full of hidden motion triggers, which, once set off, We'll turn on the factory's emergency alarms and directly contact the authorities. Oh, no. And that's one of the more tame aspects of the <laughs> No spoilers. So, no spoilers. you've got my warning. It's not too late to turn around. 
I just hope that you're certain whatever you're doing is worth it. Huh. What is he supposed to? Is that his face and this is a beard? What, what am I looking at in this moment? <laughs> no idea. Right? What is this? Like, this looks like a beard because it's kind of hairy, but it, it's upside down. Like, the hair is falling upside down because, like, the follicles are, like, ending right there. I, I have no clue. Do you think it's just broken? I, uh, yes. Okay. Clearly. <laughs> Must be. Right? I've, right? That is so weird. Do I have the option of turning around? I, I will turn around. I'm not so... I could probably do my business here on a different day. That's fine. Of course not. That thing kind of looks like Gumby. It's never an option. Oh, Gumby! It's like a fuzzy Gumby. Yeah, it is a fuzzy Gumby. Poppy wants to play. Hey. Hey. Hey, kitty cat. Anything there? Right? Gumby is pretty creepy. Clay, uh, clay animation can be pretty creepy sometimes. Uh, what do we got? All right, so we need some colors here. Red, blue, yellow. So let's say red, blue, yellow. And is there a third color? Gray. So tiles. Nope. Uh, staff only. Okay. I mean, I could guess. Poppy wants to play. Let's see. So we're looking for a code. Looking for a colored code. And what else? Anything else? He's creepy. He's just a bundle of shapes, and yet I still find him creepy. 4,000 calories like brawn. There's got to be something in here, right? Hmm. Let's see. Is it the colors of the train? Nope. Well, pink, yellow, red, and green. Those are kind of the predominant colors of the train. That could work. Let's see. Let's hop up here. It's weird that we have this ramp up here. No, I can't get up there. Green, pink, yellow, red. I love that the, the, the detail of like, hey, you're starting to see kind of like the underside of all this stuff. That's cool. All right, let's, let's try it. Let's try the train. Pink, yellow, red, and green. Is pink an option? It is. Okay. Pink, yellow, Red, green. Shoot. No. I think you had the order wrong. Oh, do I? Oh, do you think I have to do it like in order? Maybe. So it would be, what was it? Uh, shoot. Pink, green, yellow, red. Pink, green, yellow, red. No. No, here. Ah, uh, see, I, I wasn't paying attention. I'm like, oh, surely color doesn't matter. Uh, or sorry, not color. Uh, surely order doesn't matter. Let's see. Green, pink. Well, so the arrows are pointing to the this one is the front maybe so it would be like green pink yellow red green pink yellow red let's try that Boop. Boop. Ooh, i'm heavy green pink yellow red there it is okay so it was order cool okay what else we got security security wow very secure system excellent glad to see that everything's in good hands here we need a blue, so it looks like the cassette tapes are color coded. Hello. What we got? Playtime. Ooh, the grab pack. <laughs> All right. Tighten the straps. Nice. Get it nice and secure in there. Hold both cannons. Oh wow. So they're like big air cannons. Oh, fun! So you got like extendo reach? Pull again to retract. Oh, that's cool. Hold to grip onto an object. Oh, this is actually really smart. Physically, it makes no sense, but as a concept, it's awesome. Only fire at small objects. Don't! <laughs> oh no! Wire is conductive, used for re- Oh, cool! Also, you get some like cool puzzles here where you can like loop your wire around different Obstacles? Use your grab pack responsibly. Oh, awesome. What's the time? Playtime! It's a good slogan. That is. What's the time? Playtime. Yeah. It's good. This is great. I'm... All right. So far, so good. I'm, 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 I'm digging this. Fire left hand. Oh, my gosh! It's like all the coolest parts of having those, like, sticky hands. 
You know, those sticky hands that like stick to things and then like absolutely do nothing and immediately get dirty and you're disgusted to touch it after like three throws of it. But they like stick on the ceiling for eight years. Right. And they fall down and you're like, what was that? Whoa! <laughs> oh, oh, this is great. Is there anything else in here? Is there, what's that? Is there something in there? What do you think? No, I'm not allowed to stick my hand in there. Can I unplug the TV? No. Don't play with the plot items, Matt. That is not okay. Oop. Hey, bear. Oh, this is such a cool mechanic already. Oh my gosh, I just want to like touch everything. Boom, get out of my way. How long can these extend? Whoa! Oh, they just go and go and go. That's incredible. I definitely love it. Can I get... Where's the stream? Boop, boop. No, this is a this is an important plot item. You're not allowed to touch it. All right. I noticed that there was a handprint uh, over here, so I won't I won't mess around too much. Let me hop over here. Boop. Oh, so cool. Yes. Oh, I'm very excited about this. The aesthetics are great. Huggy. What time is it? Playtime. High five, Huggy. Boom. Okay, I, didn't, I didn't mean to grab you, really. I just wanted to give you a high five. There you go. Boom. High five. Oh, okay. Oh, here we go. Huggy Wuggy was a bear. Huggy Wuggy had no hair. 1984. Of course. It's always the 1980s. Playtime Co. Was designed, has designed hundreds of distinct toys, but none connected with people more than that of Huggy Wuggy. Our founder, Elliot Lug Ludwig, aimed to create a toy which could hug you forever. Hmm. Hmm. Don't know how I feel about that one. As is always true, Playtime Co.'s four-step process to creating the most lifelike toys was a success. Ah, the four-step process. Step one, find child. Step two, murder child. Step three, shove child into animatronic suit. Step four, prop it! Yay! With a bit of string and polyester, our lovable blue pal Huggy was brought to life, as well as this life of children's souls. Huggy Wuggy has gone on to play, be Playtime's uh, most popular and best-selling toy. Is this a switch that I can hit? Looks like a red switch. Apparently not. Don't ignore everything I just did. Just ignore it. All right. Oh, okay, so we're gonna get a second hand, it looks like. Boom! Cafeteria. I, I need to start on my 4,000 calories today. I'm feeling a little bit peckish. I need to eat like three steaks, please. Three steaks, please! Okay, need to open doors. Stop, employees only. Don't you tell me what to do, Poppy. Oh, okay, so we have a connecting power line here. High five. No, oh, that was... Oh yeah, because I can connect things because of electricity, that's right. Boop. Wait. Hmm. All right. That did not open like I expected. I'm fine with that. We're okay, we're okay. Testing. Okay, not there. Forget Poppy and Huggy. I want to hang out with Boogie Bot, man. He's, he's my jam. Okay, and launch it back. Sweet. So we can probably build stuff. Oh! oh hold on. This is new. Hmm. Suspicious much? Something's following me. I saw the light change. I don't trust. Is this here? <laughs> was he always there? Hmm. Huggy dolls are starting to appear in places I didn't notice them before. It's a bit concerning. Staff only. You stay back, Huggy. No. Not okay. All right, let's see what we got here. So, a bunch of employee lockers. Hey, Matt, you hey. ever have any blood on the wall? Yeah, any any blood on the wall in the past? No, I was going to say, uh, like, were you, uh, first off, I think the idea of, like, doing a Muppet-themed horror game makes so mm, much sense, because no I, I feel like the Muppets have not been properly utilized. But, I was going to say, growing up, did you have, kind of like, were you a puppet fan? Were you a Muppet fan? Did you, like, like, I had Lamb Chops play along. Huh. 
Do be kind to others. Show up on time. Don't hide behind doors to scare late Pierre. Don't. Stay past 8 p.m. Oh, man, this sounds like the rules for gremlins. Misuse company time. Tamper with machinery. Enter innovator. Innovation wing without authorization. Huh. Okay. Yeah, so growing up, I had Lamb Chops play along. Uh, I was towards the end of its run, because like, it started back in like the 70s or something. Yeah. Um, but that was like my, the big, like, it's puppets. I feel and like there was a, a gap in puppet content when I was growing up. Right, that's a shame. We had, what, like... I yeah, mean, what did you have? Like, Sesame Street has always existed. Yeah, Sesame and, like, Street is just, like, will perpetual. Will exist forever. Yeah. Um, and, right, and rightly so. Yeah, I, the Muppets, I feel like, skipped me. Yeah. Because that, like... Ooh, whoa. <laughs> okay. Grab to divert power. You sure about that one? <laughs> we sure we want to grab to divert power here? Okay. Whoa. Okay. Just gonna... Just gonna divert the power over to here, huh? Okay, so now... This is really cool. This is really smart. I love this mechanic. This is really great. Okay, so now I'm here. Hmm. Touch wire. Touch with wire to power. Yes, yep, we did that. Maybe we went the wrong way. Here's one. Oh! Here's one. I think the other one was labeled two. No, two was on the other side. So we have to figure out how to get this electricity over to there. So we've touched this. So now, what do we want to do here? Do you need to get plugged in? Grab to divert power. Okay, we're diverting the power. What am I misusing here? Because here I'm stuck. So I've extended my arm. Oh, oh no. Oh, there we go. Okay, so I just wasn't long enough before. So now this is on. Okay, you are on. Hmm. Oh, yeah, okay. So stuff is more on that one down here. This is mysterious. This is a mysterious dark tunnel. Totally fine. Nothing wrong with that. So we did that. What did it do for us? What have we done? We just unlock kind of the next thing. Grab this. Grab this. Hmm. I feel like it's mission accomplished. Right, I, right. It did something. Oh, oh, oh yeah. yeah, there it is. Yeah, there it is. I'm like, okay. There we go. Did you, you turned them off. Clearly, I've turned on all the security systems now, so that's that's great, I did everyone a favor. Good for us. Make a friend. Candy Cat, aw, Candy Cat is my friend. Yeah, so, <laughs> hold on. Huggy, Huggy, are you, are you hiding behind this mysterious door right here? Do I, do I need to be concerned about what's happening behind? Oh god, okay. I didn't expect the door to open, actually. <laughs> so when it opened, when I pressed, you know, the interact key and it actually interacted with, uh, I, <laughs> and it moved, I'm like, oh jeez. <laughs> Did not see that one coming. Oh, stairway to heck. <laughs> I appreciate a good song reference. Uh, hmm. This is a very- Oh! <laughs> It's just the smoke, Matt. It's just the smoke. What are you what are you so scared about, Matt? You don't have to be scared. You're totally fine. Totally fine. I love this. This is great. This is super atmospheric. Why he's got a little hat on? Right? Look at him. No, he's cute. He's so cute. He he's not gonna kill us, certainly. He's he's not gonna like pull us to pieces or slaughter us in some horrific way. With a way. name like Huggy. <laughs> With a name like Huggy, he has to be family friendly, right? Uh, man, I feel like there's probably so many tapes hidden behind all these various things. I need the lore! I need the lore, Matt! Is that a pinata? I think that's that's a doll of uh, Candy Cat? Or like, oh, it's headless. Yeah, it's, it, okay. Yes, it is a headless doll. To add to the creep factor, you know. Is there anything here? 
Oop, hey, boxes. It wouldn't be it wouldn't be a indie horror game if I wasn't climbing boxes. Stack, stacking and climbing boxes inefficiently. That is the name of the game. I love this. This is so fun. By the way, just to be able to do that, it's great. Come on, there's got to be like hidden lore tape or something behind here, right? Go. There isn't. There is not. But you know what? We tried. And now, everyone knows. So, oh, wait. But there is hidden lore cassette player. But there must be something around here somewhere, right? Because every cassette player comes attached with the corresponding tape. Hmm, keep an eye out, Matt. I need to find it. Would it be an orange tape? It would be, it would, yes. So it's, wait. it's the Rugrats. <laughs> Wait, what? The, the Rugrats VHS is, is iconically an orange it's, VHS. It's, it's, are you sure it's just the Rugrats VHS tape, Promise. or is it all Nickelodeon? No, it's... Well, okay, I hadn't thought of it. I know for a fact that the Rugrats one is orange. Okay. Is it all? I was going to say, I'm assuming it was probably a Nickelodeon branding thing for a while. Well, if I, I were to only guess. owned the Rugrats. Well, so. I'm, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Okay. Do I need to hop down here? Maybe. Ooh, hello. Ooh, what did I get? What is this? Great, I got Mysterious Box. I'm assuming it's like some sort of generator or like a fuse or something. Mm. Well, there's the doll head. Oh, thank goodness. Thank goodness. That's exactly what I needed in this moment. Okay, let's see. Oh my gosh, there's so many boxes that I can grab and find lore behind. So many boxes for lore hiding. Hiding of the lores. Last year, one of my friends bought a box of disembodied doll, doll parts. And Why? Then, well, because they, that I mean, like, awful. <laughs> they found them and they were like, wow. <laughs> they found them and they're like, well. <laughs> the opportunity presented itself. <laughs> I guess. But then they would hide baby doll parts in the house. Oh, you, you have terrible friends. <laughs> was, Your friends. It was really scary. Uh, yeah, no <laughs> duh. Handle with care. Shipments, highly fragile, don't drop, okay. Yeah, of course, it's terrifying. <laughs> like, I would, like, move a pillow and there'd be, like, a PPR. Yeah, that's, whole, that's both hilarious and awful. <laughs> yeah, kept me on my toes. Uh, yeah, I'm sure. <laughs> my, uh, my friend Michael Bergen, who's uh, been on the live stream a couple times over the years, um, he, uh, he, so one of, uh, when we went to college together, and one of the girls in our theater troupe, hated baby dolls just mm. deathly deathly afraid of baby dolls um and so michael bergen uh would go around and like actively just go out of his way to absurd lengths in order to find things to that would scare her and like hide baby dolls in places that she wouldn't expect and so his his favorite all-time one that he did was i believe she was in, we were doing a theater show and she had to be in a coffin for a long no. time or like she had to be buried under the, quote unquote buried under no. the stage, but basically contained under the stage for an extended period of time. And as you might imagine, uh, Michael found it a good opportunity for him to, you know, hide a baby doll under there so that way when she went under the stage, she was trapped with the, this like horrific doll for probably like a good solid 10 minutes under the stage in the dark. So that was, you know, that's, fr that's cool. called, fr that's called French. No, that like, that's killer behavior. It's <laughs> Are you calling my friend from college a killer? I mean, if we the don't, fits. it's alleged. <laughs> Here, let's see. Rich, where are they keeping the huggy boxes? I don't know. I couldn't tell you. Remember when maintenance last did a sweep of this place? No. Exactly. Nobody in this stupid company knows what they're doing. Oh, I swear, I haven't seen a single box in its place since they started flooding the storehouse with orphanage junk. Right. I get it. It's a nice program and all on brand. Uh, it's just hard to be happy about it with manufacturing on our necks about it, because we can't buy stupid hockey boxes. Rich. Oh, you're right. Rich is you're look right. at disgruntled. It's for the orphans. Oh, I orphans. I just wish there were less boxes. Anything less. 
words would be more habitable. Is, is that even a word? Habitable. So that's that's not great. So what? Now they're harvesting orphans. Is that what we're going to be led to believe here? At a certain point, it's going to be like, oh, the orphan. Wait, what, what was that? Hmm. I feel like I heard something. Oh well. What items do I have? I have these three things. Can I put them in? There we go. There's one, two, three. So I'm missing one. Let's keep an eye out. Do -do -do. Well, you, okay, so you say that my friend's a killer because he did that. But you just defended your friends doing it to you. So, hello, pot calling the kettle black. I, I see what's going on here. Unrelated. One time, uh -huh. my friends threw a rave. <laughs> okay. And it was baby doll themed. Okay. And so, different set of friends also purchased sets of disembodied baby dolls. Man, you have a prodigious amount of uh, history and backstory with creepy baby doll parts. Yeah. I'm just saying. I didn't think that this would be the baby doll episode, but... <laughs> but but this is it. Are. This is the one where we're revealing all our dark secrets with baby dolls, apparently. Um, so we made it a point to try to, like, glue baby doll parts onto stuff. Oh, okay. As, as you do. As props for the rave. Uh-huh. And that was fun. Yeah, I'm glad. I'm glad. They make for interesting decorations. They are, man, they are so terrifying. I I don't get creeped out by a lot of, like, the spiders creep me out. But other things, like, I don't know, creepy, like, clowns and stuff don't tend to creep me out. I will, ooh, hello. I will say that uh, baby dolls creep me out. Ah, yeah, there we go. I will say baby dolls, uh, and specifically, like, these sorts of dolls where mm. it looks like they're, they have souls mm. trapped in. Like, the eyes are so realistic yeah. with, like, the level of detail and stuff. Th that legitimately, like, makes me uncomfortable. I Clowns get me. I don't like them. Clowns get me. <laughs> clowns understand me, you know? You know who really, I really gets me? Yeah. <laughs> I really feel seen by the clowns. Oh, poop. No, clowns are scary to me. Okay, so we gotta crawl under here. So, wait. Nope. No, no, no. No, I think that's it. No, no, it is it. That's the problem. Uh, <laughs> thanks. No, because uh, in the opening room, there's... Before we move to an area of the map that I feel like we won't be able to really recover from, because mm. I don't know where that shoot's going to lead us, but it looks like it's to a lower level where the gameplay mechanic is going to change or something. And oh, you want to go double high-five the wall? I do want to double high-five that wall. Okay. Uh, oh, wait. Can I? Oh, no! Oh, those jerks. I'm trapped in here now. Oh, I just... Well then, I guess, uh, I guess we're kind of stuck, huh? Let me just make sure that there's no other, like, door out of here. But yeah, that, that might be the, what we have to do. Oh, those jerks! They locked it behind me, Matt! I feel like maybe we'll return there. Never. That was the last we'll ever see of that very obvious prompt to use two hands to unlock that door. That very, that very obvious gameplay mechanic that we just unlocked. Nope, we'll never see that room again. This is like in Toy Story. Yeah. This when is... they're on the thing. Uh-huh. And they're going to... Down like... to the incinerator? Yes. Grab the complete circuit. Grab to complete circuit. Uh, grab this guy. Okay. Boop. Not the one I'm grabbing. Oh, curse these rollers! Oh, there's, okay, so there's a little bit of electricity there. Fan. Oh, hello, okay, here's number one. Boop, boop. Okay, now we're electrified. So now, can I grab, where are we headed? Here's number two. Wait. Hmm. You might have to go the other way. Yeah, right. And then slide down. Yeah. There it is. Now here we go. Whee! Okay, so 
that's there. Okay, so you're touching. Stay touching. Stay touching. Stay touching. Stay touching. Oh, we're so close. Oh, it's like just enough room. Here, let me do this one more time. I didn't manage my length quite enough. Boop. There we go. Now we're I'm getting caught up on my arm. I'm getting caught up on my arm tethers. Uh, here, we're going to want to go to the left of it or to the right of it? Probably to the Okay, now that's locked in. So no. Oh, come on. We're so... Do you think it'll let you go to the you, left? You know what it is? I, I, I think... I'm thinking my problem here is I'm using the wrong arm. Mm. I think I got to use my my right arm so that way my left arm can reach mm. around. I think that's... Oh! Oh, wait. No. Turn that one. Come on. So, are you going to... Why, why can I not? Why can't... Why? Why won't this work? Why can't I shoot you? Is there something blocking you? What is it? What happened? This is weird. It won't let me... Oh! oh that. This feels like it would be a, a, a solution to the puzzle. Maybe I'm not solving it the way it's meant to be solved? Here, hold up. One more time. One more time. Maybe because you didn't light up that other one. Maybe. Like, maybe you have to light that pole up. Yeah, maybe. Okay, here we go. Okay, so here we go. Yeah, so very clearly I'm not allowed to touch that yet. So we're going to go. Okay. Hmm. But see, now I'm, I'm still stuck here. Weird. What am I doing wrong? <laughs> I love my I love my little hands. Uh, what if I do it all from up here? Maybe. Oh, that's the problem, right? Maybe. There it is. Yeah. That's what it is. Nice. See. That was not nearly as complicated as it <laughs> should have been. There we go. <laughs> there it is. Look at that. See, that's thinking with your head. Oh, hello. Whoa! Oh, okay. Hello. Hi, guys. Hey. That stuff just shooting. Oh, it just dropped down behind me. Oh, I'm. Oh, I'm totally getting waist shooted, aren't I? Oh, we're totally getting waist shooted. You're. You called it. Yeah, you're getting toy storied. We're getting toy storied. Wait. Maybe. Don't fall down there. Woo! Leap. We were getting toy storied, but then. Ha! Fooled you. Game. Make a friend. Ooh, this this music reminds me a lot of um it's very earthboundy, actually. Okay, so Matt, how are we doing time wise? I think this might be a good place to wrap it. Really? Yeah. We're about halfway through what seems like the gameplay. Okay. And we're at forty five minutes. Oh man, we are so slow. Listen. That they they know. They know. <laughs> they they forgive. Yeah. They know and they forgive. <laughs> We didn't even get to Huggy B and E, because we all know that this chapter is going to end just like Bending the Ink Machine ended, which is like, you do kind of, like, this is your tutorial level, and then at the very end, Huggy's going to jump out and scare us, and we're going to have to, like, run away or something. How, maybe maybe That's, it's a lot nicer than that. But maybe, yeah, Huggy's going to come out and, and give us a, hug. a big hug. Yeah not gonna happen it's not gonna happen Matt you know that you know you like maybe when you first came on and you're like I don't really know what this channel does like yeah maybe yeah. but I still have hope and faith that maybe not all games involve haunted things trying to kill you wouldn't that be you know now that you say that uh -huh. wouldn't that be an amazing twist you that you, it's genuinely just a really nice game yeah that you start a game like this <laughs> yeah with like the worst of intentions and you're like oh this there's huggy up oh, there he went disappearing yeah look at all this creepy stuff that's happening and then like he, he jumps out and, and he, he just gives you like a sweet hug yeah or yeah. like you take it upon yourself to like run away and you're like oh no oh. here comes the monster but in, in actuality and it hurts his feelings yeah yeah this is this is smart we've never stopped to ponder how the monsters feel that's I did air quotes off camera. No one could see that. I was going to say. <laughs> there were air quotes involved. No, I mean, yeah. you say that, and yet all the channel does is the villain is not the villain and the hero <laughs> is the true. villain. So that is kind of our shtick. Yeah. 
So yeah, Huggy Huggy just wants a friend. That'll be the title of this okay. more video. Cool. Huggy just wants a friend. Just wants a hug. Yeah, hug. He's been quarantined for a year and a half. M more. It seems like he's been Since alone. Since 1984, really. They, really. Yeah. I mean, has has anyone ever truly understood mm. and known Huggy? Well, we're gonna find out more about Huggy next time when we find out that the whole time he was just looking for a hug. That's gonna be in the next video. So in the meantime. Thank you guys so much for watching. Again, remember that survey is down below in the description of here if you're interested in joining us for our big live stream in either the remote audience or the live studio audience. And we'll see you next time. But remember, it wasn't a live stream. This one wasn't at least, but it was a video. A video for you. See ya!